Wasabi, guys. We have a very intimidating limit integral. Very intimidating limit integral. First of all, we want to get rid of this, right? We are trained whatever we have in the front. That is kind of our primary focus. So let's go ahead and let u equal x times square root of n. The whole purpose of this is just to get rid of that square root of n at the front. Okay? So let's do that. We have the limit. That root n gets taken care of. Let's see. Well, this is pretty much infinite, or we won't do that yet. Um, but root n over 2, negative root n over 2. Okay. And then now we have 3. Let's see. x is equal to u over root n. So we have 3u square over n plus then u to the power of 4 of n square all to the power of n. Okay. Interesting. This is a little uh, scary. Horrifying actually. And it's because it's, it's one of these this oh, I, it's that's not no that's not right this is n this is n square okay i hate this already because it's one of those e thingies and it's oh god doing the loophole l'hopital stuff is just annoying <laughs> it gets very annoying Okay, now if I do the limit, right, we get n times ln of whatever this is. Okay, let's do a substitution of turning it like let u equal 1 over n or whatever, uh, turn it to 0. So let's get we get 1 over n, where well, I'm going to rewrite it like this. So that's easier. n plus u4 n square all over n. Now we can easily do L'Hopital's rule. Now this is just simply 1 minus 3u square n plus u4 n square. Okay. Uh, 2u4 n minus 3u square. Okay. If we plug in 0, we get um, minus 3u square. Yeah, that's literally it. So what we have here is now we are left off with negative infinity to infinity e to the negative 3u square du. Now, I'm not very good with uh, memorizing stuff like this. So I'm just going to do uh, root 3 u. And so that gives me 1 over root 3. And it's just a straight up Gaussian integral. Right? So our answer should be like square root of pi over 3. I think that's the answer. But let's check. Yeah! There we go. Okay, so, uh, yeah, if you need to, okay, you can literally turn this, you can literally turn n, uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, pretty much technically n to 1 over n, right, you can flip it, so it goes from n to infinity to n to 0, you can just easily flip like that, so that the derivative is nicer, okay, so much nicer, uh, but yeah, this is a little tricky, Another tricky thing is to get used to uh, a limit substitution. Again, we have more of the things like this in our advanced training series. Uh, so limit u substitutions helps so much to get rid of whatever is in front. All right. Okay. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.